My name is Eric Lonti Yimagu. I am a postdoctoral research fellow at the Global Diabetes Institute at Albert Einstein College of Medicine in the United States. Essentially, I'm doing translational diabetes research, and this is what I've been doing for the past 10 years. I was born in a small village called Bacham in the western region of Cameroon. Ever since I was a kid, I love health and medicine. I did my master in biochemistry in Cameroon, studying the link between diabetes and nutrition. And at that time in Cameroon, it was popular to believe that eating quail eggs could cure diabetes. Was it true or just a saying? So I performed a research project to test it. My paper was published showing that quail eggs did not cure diabetes at all. The consumption of quail eggs dropped significantly. I am sure those who are in the business of quail eggs are still mad at me. There are many things we don't know yet about diabetes. But one thing is certain, a tsunami of diabetes is coming. If the current trend continues, in 25 years from now, 700 million adults in the world will have diabetes. Africa is estimated to have the highest increase in the number of diabetes cases compared to the rest of the world. But alarmingly, only 1.2% of the global diabetes-related health expenditure is spent in Africa. This means very little is known about the development of the disease in African patients. But what we do know is that diabetes show up differently in people of African ancestry than elsewhere. And that as a result, these cases go unclassified or poorly classified in clinical records. And up to 25% of diagnosed cases have uncertain causes. The uncomfortable twist, our African peers are dying from diabetes, often without even knowing it. Not because it is a fatal disease, but because of the lack of care. This is why long ago, I started my journey as a diabetes scientist with the aim to develop novel treatment strategy for diabetes, particularly those that most affect Africa and often lower and middle income countries globally. Study like this may open the door for potential treatment approach. But to really come out with innovative solutions for this global diabetes epidemic, we must first better understand many more fundamentals about the different parts of this disease progression. With my colleague at Albert Einstein College of Medicine, we are using highly sophisticated insulin and glucose clamp techniques to develop novel treatment for diabetes. I also supervise a project with partner in Velo, India. Velo is a low resources area where there is an unusual prevalence of a rare form of diabetes called MMDM, which stands for malnutrition modulated diabetes. Given the scarcity of this form of diabetes, sometimes we have to go to the community to find these patients before studying them in the hospital. Using these clam techniques, we are the first to demonstrate that MMDM is a unique form of diabetes different from the classic type 1 and type 2 diabetes. And MMDM developed due to the inability of the pancreas to produce insulin, a hormone which helps the body use glucose. All these findings helped me to build my skill set to develop solutions for the global diabetes epidemic and in Africa in particular. What about someone in Africa with diabetes who also have a comorbidity with HIV or tuberculosis or hepatitis C or even COVID or who lack food? There are many unanswered questions and millions of people are suffering because of this knowledge gap. The challenge for Africa is to bring sophisticated studies that are currently done in other developing continents and apply them in a way that is most relevant to African population and African context. I am one of the very few scientists specialized in performing certain sophisticated techniques such as insulin and glucose clamp techniques, which afford me a great privilege of being invited to collaborate in population study all over the world. 
So my dream is to build a world-class medical institute dedicated to diabetes research in Africa. An institute that is uniquely adapted to address relevant questions, develop treatment and prevention strategy in an African context. A place where we can train young African scientists to take care of our friends, our beloved family members, and our neighbor. Because the future is in Africa.